Good afternoon. Happy Sunday. We are in the kitchen together. We have two simple meals that I want to share with you today. Shouldn't be a lot to this, but I always say that, right? Because last time I was like, this is only going to take a little bit of time. Next thing you know, we were like, we were in it, okay? For like almost like two hours or so. But anyway, hey, Maria Graham, how are you doing? Hey, EJ, how are you doing? Hold on one second. Oh, my goodness. It is playing the ads for me. Ooh, on my other um computer. Hey, Cheryl. I, I did it with so that is Sunday that's talking to me. Um, hey, Cheryl, how are you doing? Decatur, where is greater? Hey, happy life. How are you doing? Hey, Chucky. Baltimore. Be more. Be more strong. You see him? <laughs> hey, honey. Peekaboo. That's my soul sister who just had a birthday. You know what I'm saying? The D1, D1, Sherry. My Chevy more. Okay, anyway, but I know all you song happy because I'm happy. Uh, uh, uh. Happiness. I probably need to learn the lyrics, right? Because I keep singing the song and don't even know the song. Hey, GT Jr., how you doing? By a show of hands, how many people saw the video that Sunday did? Show of hands. If you saw it, do a thumbs up. If you didn't see it, do, do like this. Um, do a little, uh, a little sad face if you didn't see it. But if you did see it, do a thumbs up. You didn't see it? My dad and um, his wife, they were trying to um, watch it. And for some reason, the link wasn't working. And it was, yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on in the background. But um, since you can hear him, you might as well see him too. There you go, right there. What did you say? Absolutely amazing. It was beautiful. Good job, Soil Sister 72. Oh no, that was his video. Um, yeah. Oh, the I, I, oh, the wedding. Oh. The oh, the stuff. decoration and stuff. I wasn't even thinking about that, but while I was watching the video, of course, I was like, oh, he captured all my decorations. You know what I'm saying? That was like I was getting life just looking at that. I was like, Oh, look at that angle. You see them centerpieces I created? You see, I have put the rose petals on the floor. Man, I was like, and then I was trying to actually watch the wedding because while I was there, of course, as many know, I wasn't really able to enjoy the wedding because I was in work mode. So it was almost like I was there. Oh, uh, she said Sunday. Boo. <laughs> GT said, Nick. EJ said, I saw the video. It was beautiful. Happy life. The decoration was on point. Thank you, Happy. Because I'm happy. Mm, 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 mm. Happiness is the truth. Mm. Hey, I'm trying to get out your way. And Nick did a great job. What's yes. going on, EJ? What up, team? G2 Junior? You said laughing out loud, door. And then you said laughing out loud, door, chef. So you trying to say I have two personalities, J G G T. <laughs> he said I got three. He got three too. No, he just has two. Yeah, for the most part. <laughs> yeah, that video was so nice. I was shocked at the little footage. Like I didn't know that he um had whatever. And then my dad dancing by himself. Oh! I was like, Nick always has some type, some element of surprise. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm. So anyway, that was nice, and um, they have it to enjoy forever, forever. Is there a song that says something with forever in it? I forever, my lady. It's like a dream. I'm holding you close, keeping you warm. Okay. Anyway, I want y'all to check out something real quick before we get into these vittles. You see my tea? Plant, grow, eat. And then it says, wait a minute. Yeah, just Dorsha. Yeah, then I had to lower it because like now my head is chopped off. Whatever the case is. You see that? And then you see the little ticker and it says you can buy the tea. The description is in the link. So support me. 
And you don't have to have the V net. You can get a, you know, different because I have that, you know. So you go on the site, you buy that. And what I want you to do is when you get it, I need you to send me a photo. So then I can do a short, you know, a reel, you know what I mean? With y'all with my T on. Plant, grow, eat. Plant, grow, eat. How you like me now? Anyway. Um, GT, how many times you gonna laugh out loud? <laughs> I'll bring y'all back up. So y'all know we've been on a roll. We've been rolling with some. Oh, let's take care of some housekeeping business first before we get into that. Oh, I thought I just saw a squirrel. But anyway, how many people saw my second weekly vlog? By show of hands, thumbs up if you saw my weekly vlog that I just did. And in that vlog, because now this is a quiz. What two things did I create this past week? What are the two things that I created this past week? We like you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. Love to you, Maria. Mwah. Oh, there's a song that says something about Maria. Maria. I can't. It's like I can hear the song in my head, but I can't really sing it. You know what I'm saying? Maria. Yes, EJ. Saw the wall art. How many of y'all knew that Dorsha creates? I'm going to have to have another tab on my website. Everything on there on the website, just Dorsha. As you see, they're all verbs because I am. Um, you know, part of God. He is the I am. And then I am like junior. I am. Well, not junior, like Jesus, like the older brother. Like, so I'm like somewhere in the mix, but I'm like a little I am. And then you just fill it in. And I'm a creator. I'm a cook. I'm a wife. I'm a, uh, uh, I'm a beatboxer. See? Yeah, I know I can beatbox. But anyway, my wall art. And I just met a girl named Maria. Oh, the chicken how are you doing so for those of you who saw my artwork that i created i also created a leaf a, little, a wreath <laughs> and so i'm getting ready to take y'all with me so that you can see my artwork on the wall so y'all can see what i did you ready dun, 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 dun. Y'all know I don't know how to flip the, the screen with um, StreamYard. So I took my art that was on the wall. I made it vertical. You see that? Wait a minute. Hold my head up. What? And then I flanked it with the art that I made. You see that? Peekaboo. Okay. Now, take you outside so you can see the reef. Reef. Oh, it sounds like my youngest son. There you go. There's the reef. On the door, and there she goes. And uh, you remember my little plants and everything that I showed you. Yeah, they're a family. We are family. <laughs> and then I also created right there. That stuff you see in the background, he has to put that in the garage. Oh, that's what that's it is? Yes. It's been there for a month. It's been there for a month. <laughs> the garage, yeah, that was that stuff, but that stuff, it that's all your stuff and needs to go in the garage. That's all mine. Yes. It's yours. Hey, G Mama Girls, how are you doing? Wow, that is beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate you. Your video is freezing up. Okay, it did it stop. Cheryl Faulkner said, hey, Sunday. What's up, Cheryl? Cheryl Decatur. Where's Brayden? Okay. She Decatur? Yes. Um, I'm going to preheat the oven to 350. And... We're going to make lemon loaf. I don't know if you are familiar with Starbucks um, lemon loaf. Last week, I made cranberry bliss bread, which is different than the cranberry bliss 
bar that Starbucks sells, but you know, I made it do what it did. Okay. And yes, those who ate it did like it. You know what I mean? So I took um, slices over to dad and Elaine and they liked it. And dad is really not, you know, into icing and stuff, whatever, but he kept on putting his hand back in the bag. Pick it up. And Elaine ate hers up. She was like, mmm. So guess what they have to look forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow, I gave my life. Tomorrow, I thought about today. But it's so much easier to say. Tomorrow, tomorrow is not promised. Don't let this moment slip away on tomorrow. Very well, might be too late. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I got that song in, right? So anyway, we were going to make a lemon loaf. Got a recipe off of the internet. Lemon loaf. It's not going to take much. And you do not need your hand mixer. All you need is your hand. You know what I mean? Whisk. We're going to stir it. We're going to stir it. And it's going to cook. Put in the oven. And then we're going to move on to another dish that some may not be familiar with. It's called Italian loaf. Mm. Uh, we will watch the replay. It's family time. Catch y'all in the YouTube streets. Okay. See you. Hey, G, J3GS. You said you was going to change your name. Hey, Auntie Linda. Tino. Welcome. It's good now, sis. Okay. Thank you. So Italian pie. No, it is not sweet. Um, think about pizza pie. Hmm, is that sweet? No, but it's not necessarily going to be that. It's more like uh, a casserole to say, well, per se, but you'll see. I'm going to take you along on this journey. I am going to make a broccoli chop salad to complement it because, you know, you need a little bit more roughage on the side, you know what I mean? Because it is kind of carnivorous, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it has like meats and different things in it. So I'm going to do both. Now, for those of you who do Meatless Monday, hey, you can rock this broccoli salad. It'd be good for you. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Anyway, so let's get into it. Ah, let me get something to drink. Guava family, guava. Even though I'm drinking mango, but guava. Ooh, that is actually good. You're gonna need three large eggs, one cup of granular sugar, granulated sugar, one cup of sour cream or Greek yogurt. I am not a fan of Greek yogurt, but I can use it in a dish if it calls for it, but I'm using sour cream. One cup of canola oil, you need some lemon zest, lemon extract, all-purpose flour, bacon powder, and salt. And that is it. Then your lemon Glaze is confectioner's sugar and lemon juice, and we're going to get right to it. Now, I have all of my ingredients and stuff over there. Now, you are going to need a loaf tin. We've been doing a lot of loaves. I hope that y'all are getting something out of this, you know, with me doing two um, dishes for you instead of one. Uh, my sugar. Now, I love these containers. Now, I do have my flour container, but I needed some more flour. So, I'm going to use my flour out of the bag until that's gone before I go into my other flour. And I got my canola. I have two bowls because I'm going to put, I'm actually going to put the dry ingredients all together. And then I'm going to add them to the wet ingredients. Now, I love doing this with the pan. Of course, you can go old school and do some butter and then flour and shake that out, whatever. But I promise you, this will save you some time and energy. And, and, and everything comes out just the way it is. Now, I can use the word old school when it comes to that because, yeah, back in the day, Somebody still day. That's how they did it. Now, having good manners is not old school. 
obeying the Bible and God's principles and concepts, that's not old school. Those are called principles, okay? That never goes away. <laughs> yeah. Or people say, well, I'm just old-fashioned. I don't believe in da-da-da. No, it's not your old-fashioned. You just got principles. That part. Rinsing my eggs off. And I'm going to bring you down with me. Hey, Ruth in the garden. Ruth in Georgia backyard. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us. Hey, Goody. How are you doing? Thank you. We're going to come on down. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and um, mix my um, drying, uh, put my dry ingredients together first. And then I'm going to do the wet part. This is not going to take long, so I want y'all to be able to see what I'm doing. Do y'all see that? Is that a good shot? So I'm going to get some flour, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, and no, not cake flour, although these breads do not taste like bread. I call them like dessert loaves. That's what I've been calling them, and that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. One cup. One and a half. And a half. There you go. See that? I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder, not baking soda, but baking powder. This is baking powder. It doesn't matter what brand. Two teaspoons. Once again, y'all know I love this because these are just so, they're nice and flat. You see that? It's just flat. It could just sit on the counter if need be. One. Two. Hey, Analytic Gardener, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. Now, salt. Matter of fact, I'm pouring my salt over this. We're gonna need a half a teaspoon of salt. So the baking powder and the salt are our leavening agents. Very rare that you'll have a recipe where it has some type of bread or cake that it doesn't require it, a leavening agent. But I do have a recipe that I'm going to be sharing with you soon that it doesn't require it. So, pick a boop. Now, I'm going to take my whisk and I'm going to mix this up so that the leavening agents can get through, merge, blend. Okay, now we're gonna put this to the side and get a larger bowl. In our larger bowl, we're gonna add our eggs that I rinsed off. And there's no need to rinse off your eggs until you're um, about to use them. Especially if you got those fresh eggs like coming from your chicken, oh, like your hens. So it's three eggs. Ooh. There you go. We're going to add one cup of sugar. Where's my cup? Uh-oh, wait a minute. There's a little egg. Make sure you don't have any eggshell in there because at some point, someone's going to bite into that puppy and it's going to be crunch. Mm -hmm. Here's the sugar. One cup. Where's my top? We're going to do one cup of sour cream.
And once again, I'm telling you, this is a very simple recipe. And after I do it, you'll be like, that's all? That's all that took? Yes, that's all. One call, that's all. That's a, um, a commercial up here for personal injury attorney. <laughs> These uh, attorneys who do personal injury when you get into accidents and stuff, they come up with some creative ads that just really stick, that really stick. So it's like, if you're in an accident, you need an attorney. It's like their stuff will come to your head. All right. I used all of my sour cream. Now, we have our egg sugar sour cream, and we're going to take this whisk, and we're going to start whisking it until it is smooth. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Coast to coast, L.A. to Chicago. <laughs> Yes. Now look at that. Now we're going to add the canola oil. Let me give them a plug. Walmart. I'll add you, girl. Half a cup of canola oil. Now you can use vegetable oil, but I don't have any. I have canola. I have extra virgin olive oil, I have avocado oil, I have coconut oil, and I have bacon grease. Okay. Yeah. Let me add the oil while I'm whisking. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. You see this? Now, I am going to Add the zest of lemon. For this, I'm going to use my hand grater, not the box one. We're going to use that um, when we do our broccoli salad. So, And you'd be like, I can't see if it's in there. Well, you definitely know what's in there because you look at your... You see that? Now I'm saying two tablespoons of this, but I'm just going to do this entire lemon. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Ooh la la. Magnifique. And look at this. Make sure you get all that deliciousness, okay? Now we're going to use some pure lemon extract. No imitation, anything. If you're going to do it, just do it. Do the brown. Okay. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of the lemon extract. One, two. That's gonna give it that nice flavor, okay? Here's my whisk, mix it. Now, while I'm whisking, guess what I'm going to add? My dry ingredients. Yes. Y'all see that? Making sure y'all can see. And no, you don't need a hand mixer. Just need a good whisk. And just keep it going. Now. Make sure you get your size. What you can add to this, which I'm not, you can add some blueberries. 
You can add some cran raisins. Both of those would be a nice addition to this simple lemon loaf, but I'm not gonna do that, okay? Now, you're gonna find that you may have some um, little lumps in there. Do not try to get rid of them. They're gonna all work themselves out in the end. But get your pan. Take your spray. Okay. And put your batter in. There you go. And remember, we're going to put this in the oven 350. And it's going to cook for 50 minutes to an hour, depending. Okay. There you go. I'm going to take my spatula. And just even that out. Smooth, smooth, smooth operator. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, Miss Shirley, how you doing? Mmm. Now I'm going to put it in the oven. So now you have me back. Ta da! Put it on the top rack. Um, I'm going to do, let me do 50, oops, I'm going to do 50, and then I'll check it at 50. There you have it. I feel good about that. Now, this is when I need a sous chef because all of this right here is just a mess. So, this is when, normally, when you have a wonderful husband. Mm. Mm -hmm. He will come over here and let be your commercial while you do clean up your work spot, the workplace. Mm. That was such a nice video, wasn't it? That was so nice. And I forgot that he recorded. That was upstairs. Y'all always see downstairs, but we have upstairs. Upstairs wall. And he, he caught the footage and everything. That was just so good. Y'all, I'm sorry, but this is delicious. Um, you're taking the bowl away. I didn't need to take the bowl away. Stop eating in front of people like <laughs> he want me to stop eating in front of you people. He's talking about y'all in the third. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, you people? <laughs> you people. <laughs> anyway. What you, what you want me to do? When it comes out, we're going to make our glaze. I just need. What's going on, OG? Oh, this. Said, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure all the love is extended to the family, right? I just seen red and I just told you that I was on my computer. It was an awesome service today. He talked about um, the pace of grace. And um, he gave some good analogies. Um, check it out. Word of faith. There was actually um, service tonight. Just three services. But he's like, you have to go on your pace. You can't go by someone else's pace. You know, someone else may have gone to night school, had two jobs and was taking care of four children. And you're struggling trying to take care of one and go to work and be married. And you beat up on yourself because you're just like, oh, my God, I feel like such a loser. <laughs> it's like, oh, my goodness. And this person is doing all this, that, the other. And I'm just trying to do that. But they are blessed with the grace for that pace. And that's not your that, that's not your pace. So therefore, you don't have the grace for it. And comparison is 
can be a little demon, right? It gets us distracted. When you start comparing yourself against other people, you really like setting yourself up for disappointment. There is no comparison. You know, now there are people who are narcissists who like to compare themselves against people who are quote unquote underneath of them. You know what I'm saying? Because that makes them feel better. They will hardly ever try to compare themselves against someone who's above them. Only the ones that are beneath them, right? But here, here lies the problem with comparison on any level. When you compare yourself up and that person's above you, you set yourself up for having low self-esteem. When you compare yourself to people who are beneath you, you set yourself up for having arrogance. You need to have healthy esteem. So you need to not compare yourself against people. You need to compare yourself to the vision of who Christ says that you can be in the man in the mirror. When you look at yourself through his lenses and then bam, now you can find the grace that God has given you for the pace, for the rhythm that you are in the course that you are on because we all are not on the same course. We're not on all on the same journey. You know what I'm saying? So what one person can do, that's great for them. Applaud them and celebrate. It just not may not be where God has you and what God has for you and who God has for you. So check out the service. It was awesome. It'll bless somebody. Now, we're going to move right along. I know y'all like, oh, she getting it good. We're going to make this Italian pie. And um, let me bring over to you um, my ingredients. Now, you can use ground turkey or ground beef. Um, I'm not. I'm using Italian sausage. Peekaboo. Salami. And pepperoni. You can use... Um, turkey, turkey, salami, turkey, this, turkey, that, whatever. If you don't swing to the to pork. But that is the basis of your meal. Now, there are going to be some other things that you're going to need. I'm going to do some sun dried tomatoes. I have a basic, like the Prego uh, tomato, basil, garlic. You don't need the whole thing. Some Parmesan. Asiago Romano. Also, some basil pesto, pimentos, Italian seasoning, and Italian style cheese. Walmart. Come on, Walmart. You and me. I could do a whole like. 30 minute segment on great value meals, Walmart, holla at me, for real though. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody else had one of their commercials on my channel. It was one of your competitors, Walmart. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you be great, Walmart. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Walmart's like, I do not need your help. Hey, don't look down on the little man, Walmart. <laughs> guava family, guava. Oh, oh, what are y'all drinking right now? Probably, y'all probably being healthy and drinking water or something like that. Mm. Now, for our, um, oh, I almost forgot. Spinach. But I had to take out my spinach and thaw it. You don't need raw spinach. You need a frozen type and chopped. Now, you can take your own spinach and cut it up and chop it, but whatever the case is, no leaves. Just get the spinach like that. So that's what you need. Now, uh, This is why we need to be in my forever home because I need um, double convection ovens. So while one thing is cooking at one temperature, another thing can cook at the other temperature. 
So, but I'm still going to prep this for you guys because this needs to cook at 425 degrees, not 350. Peekaboo. I hope Sunday is listening to me. Hello. You're not drinking anything at all at the moment? Oh, I must be the only person that is thirsty. Because I am thirsty. But um, let's get over here. Oh, you know what? I want to show you what I'm going to do with my um, meat. Now, this is going to be um, fried. I mean, fried brown. So I just have to kill it over here, and I will take you with me. But as is, we can't. Um, Hold on one sec. We can't cook our dish like that for a sec. So I need this. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna chop up my salami and the pepperoni. Now, you know, I really don't care about brands. I, I care about taste and making sure that stuff tastes well. Now, if there's some brand that has something that I can't replace the taste on, you know, that's another thing going on. But great value, honey. Yes, it, it'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? Now, they didn't have salami, though. Mmm. Mmm. You know, I could add that with some cheese and a Toll House cracker. I'm just trying to let you know something. Okay. So, I'm going to take, bring you down with me so you can see what I'm about to do. And then we're going to go over there and we're going to brown our meat. I'm going down. Look at my t-shirt. You see that? I got that stuff all on me. But anyway, still a nice t-shirt. Make sure you get one. <laughs> all right. I'm going to take some salami. Mm, this looks like that's good. Yeah, that'll work. Hey, FR Humphrey. How you doing, Felicia? Make sure you have a, a sharp knife. And cut. Cut. All right. Move that to the side. Get your pepperoni. Mm. Get you some pepperoni. And cut. 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 Can you see that? Part of our meats. Okay. Hi, Diversity Love. How are you doing? Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you. Now, we're going to go over and we're going to brown our meat. So, let me bring y'all over here. All right. And I am going to use all of my Italian sausage, which, of course, you could do a mixture of ground beef and ground pork. You can use ground beef. You can use ground turkey. You can use, I wouldn't recommend ground chicken, but if, you know, if that's what you want to do. But this is called Italian pie. So we're going to brown that. And I did um, drain my spinach. I'm going to keep this by the stove because once this starts browning, we're going to add that. And matter of fact, let me bring you back over here. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, there was something else I wanted to do. 
I want to cut up my pimentos. I'm going to use another cutting board. And I want to do a chop on my, um, oops, on my sun-dried tomatoes because sometimes they're a little much. I wish Sunday was in here to open up this jar for me. Let's see how it goes. Oh, man, I need him to open it. <laughs> Sunday Backyard Farmer. Sunday Backyard Farmer. Come in here. Open this jar for your wife. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, my sun-dried tomatoes. Let me get this off of here. Now, I do like this. I, I love adding these to like pasta dishes and things like that. I, I love sun-dried tomatoes. And look, they came. Oh, these are the ones that are Julian, so they should be good. Oh, he heard me. I need this open. I appreciate you. To be loved, to be loved. Oh, what a feeling. Oh, look. I can't open it, guys. <laughs> oh, he did it, though. Look at this. Wait a minute. Oh, oh I'm so strong. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yes, thank you for hitting that like button. Okay, I need a fork. And I need to go over here to my meat. <laughs> Let me see. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. My meat is already cooking, but I got to do this for y'all real quick. <laughs> this is a pimento. Do you see how big this is? This is a pimento. <laughs> this thing is huge. I don't need all of this. So I'll put this back. <laughs> yes. Look at that. That's what we need. Now I'm going to take you over here. You're all I need to get on. You're all I need to get on. You're all I need to get on. Yes. Try to break it up as much as you can. Break it up as much as you can. And get it as brown as you can, but do remember that this is going to also finish in the, the oven. Okay. Oh Lord. Y'all be trying to get these jars open. They don't want they don't want me to be great. Sorry. The husband back to the rescue. Add to spinach. Thank you, honey. And I'm going to add Italian seasoning. I'm going over to the island. I'm going to be generous with this. Pimentos. Mm. 
sun-dried tomatoes. And my pepperoni and salami. Stir that. Wait a minute, y'all. I don't know if y'all saying anything to me. I gotta. Hey. Oh. Mix that well. Now, I am going to add some onion powder. And garlic powder. Onion, garlic, and of course, some pepper. Black pepper. Black pepper, honey. There that. It smells absolutely, absolutely delicious. I promise you. One cup of my tomato basil sauce. I'm going to add more, but before we do, we have to add the pesto. You see that? Now you have to stir the pesto because of the olive oil. But yeah, one, two. Uh oh. And where is my hmm. It's my spoon. We'll do this. All right. Mix that real good. Mm -hmm. And Add the rest of this. And that's basically the whole jar. Well, it is not basically the whole jar. But not too soupy. You know what I mean? And I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to bring you back up to me. What y'all got going on? Hey, Lashes, how are you doing? Hey, Belt Loop, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. I'm coming up. You want the world enough? Coming up. <laughs> oh, no, <it's> coming out. <laughs> um... Now, I need two eggs. I thought I had all my ingredients out. Evidently, I didn't. Two eggs and my cheese. And I, I have to mix those two things and then add them to my meat. What y'all talking about? Okay, let me rinse these off.
Now, I need to clear some of this out of the way. There's a lot going on in the real time. So I'm going to take two eggs and mm, about two cups of cheese, of my cheese. Mix those together. And then I'm going to put those in the meat mixture. Put that in a 13 by 9 baking dish. Then we're going to top it with pie crust. But I'm going to have to make sure that my pie crust extends over um, that. Now, where is my small bowl? Hold on one second. Wait a minute. Oh, you know what? No, I can't. I was like, I don't have to hurry up one more thing. But y'all know. Whew, honey. Yeah, I was excited about doing my artwork and I'm sharing it with y'all. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I was hoping like, hey, take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and bam, and it worked out. So, eat. I got my cheese. Where is that? Where's my cooking cheese? Cooking shears, they don't belong anywhere else. They belong exactly in your kitchen. One egg. And go ahead and um, beat your eggs before you add the cheese, though. And I'll take you down with me for that. It's hard to... Uh, Clean the kitchen and while you're doing a lot. Right now, I would just go ahead and just clean it. watch that program good eats all the time what y'all talking about have a great night everyone i'll catch y'all later in these youtube streets thank you g mama i'll be seeing you in these streets thank you for all your love and support we appreciate you shared you out sis thank you lashes i appreciate you enjoy your evening have a good night g mama okay so there's that big cup i had y'all it's a big cup. So guess what? We're going to imagine that my hand is a cup. I'm going to bring y'all down. Because <laughs> I don't have time, honey. We're going to do two cups. One. Two. Two cups. There you go. Pick a boo. There you go, hunty. Yes. <laughs> now, we did that. And then we're going to add this to our meat, okay? We ain't necessarily want to put the eggs in there as is. And they get all scrambled. But we can add this together. Now. you like, Dorsha, what in the world is going on? Stick with me. Stick with me. Walk with me. Talk with me. It's all going to work together for the good. It is going to be well, my people. Now, we are going to get our dish. Mm. 
And this skill is heavy now. But we don't need to put it in now. All right. Smooth it. Smooth it out. Make it as even as you can because you do have pie crust that's going on here. You can make your own pie crust. I'm not. And yes, I know how to make pie crust. But that's just another something to do on something that could just be so easy if you would just support it. The pie crust company, honey. But now, if I was making a pie for y'all, <laughs> I'm going to make a pie crust because I like the way that tastes. You know what I'm saying? My pies, you know, like my old crust, I make it do what it do. Oh, my peach cobbler. There you are. You see that? I'm going to get a pie crust. And you should let your pie crust become room temperature so that it can spread, it can roll out. Now, you know I had a knife over here. And then, once we have this where we want it, I'll just put it to the side. Because this needs to bake at three, I mean, at 425. And currently, you know, we got a situation going on. So. We have one pie crust. And let me clear some of this out the way. I have a lot going on. A lot going on. What do you see? Do you see what I see? Yes. <laughs> um, Bridget, who came on my live, that was a gift from her. So, yes. She got me all kind of utensils that had cooking with Dorsha on it. So. Love you, Bridget. Thank you. She is a sweetheart. How many people saw um, the Wednesday live? with Bridget as she shared her um, story. To me, it was a testimony because although she has MS, MS doesn't have her. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, it was powerful. Just having the right mind. Having the right Mine. Now, oh, y'all, it literally says cooking with Dorsha on, on it. <laughs> uh, now, we might need to take some from some of the edges. Let's see. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. Yes, Lord. Yes. I need Aunt Linda to come on my show and say, Aunt Linda, sorry. We have a great time of worship. A night of worship with T Nock. You gonna do it, Unlinda? Can we do a night of worship with T Nock? <gasps> Can we? Can we? Can we? You know, y'all, when I first had her on my show, well, 
I was nervous. Well, first of all, I didn't necessarily, you know, she was in one of my lives and um, I was saying something about, yeah, you know, if I would have her on my show, I was just joking. And she was like, yeah, just let me know. And I was like, oh, oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, oh, Lord, like, is this really happening? <laughs> She came over there, and uh, yeah, we had an awesome time. You ever, um, you know, see someone on YouTube, and then you know who they are in real life is like really who they are. Now, that may not always be the case, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so you know, we had to make this do what it do. You know what I'm saying? But I got it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, this is going to come together, hunty. Yes, it will. Put some little extra. I'm going to use up all this pie for us, honey. Yes, honey. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. What did you say? I love that roller. So cute. Why, thank you, sis. Hey, turtle lady. How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome. Y'all, where else can I put the rest of this pie? <laughs> it's like, let's not waste this wonderful pie crust, honey. Put it over here on the edges. You know what I mean? Give it some extra protection. But when it starts bubbling, and there's going to be some bubbling, and all right, be like, I'm glad that you put this extra, extra, extra. Okay. I think that's it. Now, this part is important. One, two. I need some to be able to um, create vents so that it doesn't so it can force it to bake evenly and that it doesn't just rupture and all of this comes on the outside. We've created some way that it can release the heat. And so now we're going to let it um, do that. But before I finish, I'm going to go over here with my fork. Make sure I got something going on. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Now, you could, if you want more crust, you can use two of them and just do half and half on, cut it in, in halves instead of the round. You can do that. I'm just pressing this up against the sides. Okay, you see this? I'm going to put it all to the side. And voila! And I'm going to grab some grapes because I'm hungry. All right. You have me. I am here. If you want one of these t-shirts, look in the description. I have it. There you go. Then send me a picture and I will create a reel and I will drop your channel in that reel. You know, I have some reels, you know, that been getting some views. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Check out my reels or shorts on YouTube, but it's reels everywhere else. I love these grapes. They are so delicious and sweet. I love them. Hope you are having a blessed Sunday. Thank you, Green Hands. How are you doing? Green Hands, you never did tell me 
where you are. <laughs> you asked me if Sunday told me, and I was like, no, where are you? <laughs> This is a daggone time. Y'all know I'm hungry. <laughs> um, our lemon loaf has 11 minutes. Does anybody else like these grapes? Mmm. I know you're in. I know you're there. I thought you were saying, I know you're in London. But when you said it, I thought you were saying something else, like you were visiting here or something. And did Sunday tell me? Because you always say that you're across the pond. I know that that's, that means that you're in um, the UK. Because that's what, that's what y'all say. You know what I'm saying? I already knew that. Sorry, got to run. Need to make round. Okay, no problem. Thank you for stopping through, Belt Loop. I know you're in England. You were like this Sunday, tell me where you are. I thought maybe you came to the States. You were in Georgia. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> These grapes are so good, Miss Shirley. They are. Probably the sweetest grapes I've ever had. They're definitely sweeter than green, sweeter than red. Mm hmm I think they're called black. Mm. 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 Moon drop, that's it. They are so good. <laughs> Moon drops. And they come from a grapery in California. Wait a minute. What did he say? Black grapes, these luscious, crisp, that and have a sweet taste that is simply out of this world. That part, because they are crisp, it's like as soon as you bite them, it's like it's crispy, right? It's hot. Can you hear me? You know what I mean? But every time you bite, it's like, oh, it's just like all in your mouth. <laughs> it's so sweet. Where did you get those grapes? I want to freeze dry them. <laughs> Wallet Mart. Walmart, holla at your girl. Yeah, but they're in season right now, so you should be able to get them from anywhere. But yeah, I got them for Walmart. No. I'm sorry. I did not get them from Walmart. You can get them from Walmart. I got these from Publix. Now, I do have to tell you, that they are more expensive than those other grapes. I mean, but that's not for you, Sherry. We got use a bottle, a shot collar. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? But for the rest of us who bought it on the budget, you know what I'm saying? This was a treat, you know, like girlfriends deserve this, you know? I've been very focused this week. I've been doing everything. I have my planner now. I'm I got the tunnel vision. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Big John, how you doing? What's going on? <laughs> Who said that? Oh my goodness. Miss Shirley said, don't get too close to Black Tropical Homestead. You might get freeze dried. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got food all in my mouth. I'm laughing. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, 
That's my friend, though. She said by her freeze dryer. I would be, too. Oh, that daggone money. I'd be like, I'd be freeze drying Sunday. I'd be like, come here. <laughs> oh, he says, came in here bearing me gifts. What am I saying? Hey, Barb, how are you doing? Just came from the garden, pulling tomato plants out and dropping more green. I buy moon drop grapes every fall when they come to our program stores. Love them too. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. I'm freeze dries and everything, so sister. <laughs> Bobby, you better watch out. You next. <laughs> <laughs> okay y'all i'm gonna stop being rude eating these grapes but go and get some try them and tell me if you like them they are so good so let me show you what um sunday brought in the house speaking of sweet He doesn't have the name of the tomato, but I'm going to show you. Was it this one or was it this one? I don't know if it was this one or if it was this one, and they are different. But it is the tomato plant he put in my garden that's hanging down like it's disabled. So it was hanging all the way down and it had ripe tomatoes on it. So I of them. I brought them in here and I was like, oh, I'm hungry. You know, I haven't eaten all day. So I rinsed them off. I plopped them in my mouth. <gasps> Those things were sweet. I was like, for the first time in my life, I said tomatoes are fruit. I mean, I know technically tomatoes are fruit, but, you know, we treat them like they're vegetables, but they are fruits because they have seeds in them. You know what I mean? Like the fruit and the, and the seed, whatever. So fruit and they come from a flower, they come from a flower. They got the seeds. They're fruit. You know what I'm saying? Like this is a fruit. However, it was so sweet. I was like, shall I ate them all up? <laughs> Like, let's take a look. Yeah, that part. Anyway, uh, it's getting real in here. Let me go and peek in the oven. Whoa! Whoa! Y'all want to sneak peek? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I'm afraid to take y'all over there. Let me look one more again. Woo-wee! <laughs> y'all wait. Y'all wait. I'm about to tell y'all some things. I'm about to tell y'all. Anyway. Um, I want y'all to see my little candle that I got. It just adds to the ambiance of the kitchen. Let's see this. And it says, bless. Oh, and it smells incredible. I got it from Walmart. Walmart, like, I need you to hit me up. You got my phone number, you got my credit card number, you got my address. Stop acting like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just need you to help me be great. <laughs> moving right along. Has anyone ever had these 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 pimentos, they, they just as huge as I don't know what. Um anyone ever have a chop salad? Chop salad. Ever been to where 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 does Sunday love the chop salad? California pizza. I have a chopped salad at California pizza. Do you have a California pizza? That part right there. Let's, let's, let's do that part. Do you have a California pizza? And if you do have a California pizza, have you ever had... You got a link for that candle? 
No, because it's from Walmart. <laughs> um, California pizza makes a nice chopped salad. Is everyone familiar with the term chopped salad? Who's heard of chopped salad before? Raise your hand in the chat. Because the chat is where it's at. And if you're watching this and then you're not in the chat, then you don't know. Like, you can go in there and you can drop a little something. And people who are in the chat, they are very friendly. They are family. So come on down. At the bottom of your screen, there is a dialogue box. And it says live chat. So come into the chat because the chat is where it's at. And just say hi. You may meet, you know, some new people. You just never know. You feel like next thing you know, you got a whole YouTube family. Anyway. Uh, I love this. Ba 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 ba. I'm loving it. Mm. So, normally, a chopped salad will have iceberg lettuce. And I'm not really a big fan of iceberg lettuce salad. Iceberg really don't have that much nutritional value. But it does have a lot of water in it. So, <laughs> but you chop it. You chop the iceberg lettuce. You can chop up like some um eggs um chop up like some salami and meats and this that the other olives whatever you take all this stuff and it's chopped up and it's not like long pieces of roughage or anything everything is almost about the same size and then they do the salad dressing and it's a chopped salad let us check on our loaf let me use this knife. Can y'all see that? I can already tell it's gonna need some more time, but I'm gonna stick it in there anyway. Hmm. We always get to this juncture, don't we? So I'm gonna give it 10 minutes. <laughs> like I have done all the other time. But let me taste this real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? I'm talking about my own um, loaf cake. Ah, not myself. <laughs> so instead of the, and I'm not going to add egg or anything, but it's just. It's a broccoli salad, but you, you're going to chop it. You know, you're going to chop the little florets and make everything, you know, a nice size. Um, what did you say? I don't care. F.R. Humphrey, I don't care for iceberg either. EJ, yes, I have the Chicagoland area at Portillo's and at Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, yes, I've had chopped salad. Hey, Tanya, how are you doing? Or Tanya. Tanya, Tanya. Oh, excuse me. Sherry, is Bobby listening in the chat? He needs a heads up. Wow. <laughs> I had a chopped salad before, but we don't have a California pizza here. I'm just north of Indianapolis. Okay. But yeah, I was just saying that at California Pizza Sunday, he loves, he has to love. And he's really more like a, a carnivore. He's not big on vegetables. And um, but when we will go there. Yeah, he wants that chopped salad. He could eat that chopped salad. It'd be good, right? So I'm gonna just I'm gonna do a broccoli chopped salad, <clears throat> and um, it's gonna be simple. Um, I did um, get my broccoli. I rinsed it, and it's been sitting there. But you see that, and I'm going to make a, a honey. Um, now I'm going to make a Dijon um, salad dressing. I'm going to whip that up. Hey, Linda, how are you doing? You are so funny. I'm not trying to be, but hey, if I can put a little smile on your face. 
Hey, peekaboo. Dad, this thing is big as my head. <laughs> yeah, um, I love the produce at Kroger. I mean, come on now. You can't, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Now, Walmart, you know, sometimes, sometimes you feel like a, sometimes you don't. Pubs have good produce. Walmart don't. <laughs> I'm just joking, Walmart. Sometimes you do, but sometimes you don't. <laughs> but right here, right here, it's the good shit. Lollipop, it's the good shit. Lollipop. Who sang that song? For a million dollars. Who sang that song? Who sang that song? Uh huh. I'm waiting. Who sang it? Who sang it? Ooh, and I like it. And I rinsed off my carrots. And let me put away some of this stuff. You know, it's getting on my nerves just looking at it. Y'all know I love organization now. I love it. Wait a minute. You know, I got my stuff in here. And I know some people's like, why does it have to be in alphabetical order? So when you go into your spice drawer, you can go right to what you're looking for. All right. But before, no, our loaf is almost done. And then we're going to do the drizzle that we're going to put on our lemon loaf. Ah! Let it drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Okay. So I'm going to do that, that. I'm going to put some red onion. I have some red coupon, some olive oil. Olive oil, great coupon. This is going to be really something. Apple cider vinegar. I was thinking about doing some scallions in it, but I talked myself out of it. So, just very simple. Little broccoli chop salad. But I'm going to have to bring y'all down so y'all can see. Now, I am going to use this for my carrots. It's going to be like, you know what I'm saying? Guava family. Guava. I'm almost finished. Mm. Yes, EJ. Shirley Temple. It's the good shit. Lollipop. Mm -hmm. I used to watch Shirley Temple growing up. I thought she was so cute. And I don't know if it dawned on me like I was a child and she was a child, but I was looking at her like, oh, look at the cute little child. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, you are a child too. Mm -hmm. I gotta get some of this stuff up, y'all. Dinner, dinner, dinner. It's my living in vain. Is my praying in vain. Who sings that song? Hey, Mike. How you doing? Thank you for joining us. We appreciate you. All right. Wait a minute. I need a board. <laughs> I don't use up all my board. I got the big board. You know the big board? I probably need to just go ahead and bring it. Bring it out. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. Level up. Level up, level up. Okay. I'm going to bring y'all down with me so we can make this broccoli chopped salad because we chopping it up. You chopping it up with Dorsha. 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 Buy a t shirt today. Oh, that was a commercial. So you got to be your own commercial. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting for a sponsor. You got to learn how to be your own. So what did I do with that? Big knife. My favorite knife. If a favorite knife was a person. Mm. Yes. We're going down. 
We're going down. Yeah. And the million dollar goes to Black Tropical Homestead, the Clark sisters. Yes. And that was a good movie. Yeah. You broke the sunshine. The husband is looking at me. All right, we're going down. Does that knife have a name? I don't know, but look at all this stuff on my t shirt. But look, and then the next time you see me, it'll be clean again. You know what I'm saying? Because they are washable. Buy one of the t shirts today. The description. Look in the description for the link. And it's not just for women, it's for men too. And then send me the photo so that you can be in one of my famous reels that get two likes. No, just joking. <laughs> okay. Y'all like Dorsha. I don't know. Hallelujah. 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 All right. Let's take him. Yeah, so what's the name of my knife? All right, Mike, come up with a name for my knife. Who has a name for their knife? But now I feel like I need a name for my knife, and now my knife is going to be feeling some type of way. Talking about, yeah, Mike had a point. See, Mike, you over here starting, starting stuff, getting me in trouble. My knife is going to Start acting funny instead of talking about, yeah, that was a great idea. Why did Mike have to come up with a door? You just used me. There's no, this is supposed to be a two way street. <laughs> Y'all know I'm an author. It don't take much for me to start creating the storyline. <laughs> with all my heart, I love you. You, baby, stay with me. Hey, Linda, the other Linda. <laughs> oh, I name my knives so they friends and and don't font bite me. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's check on our little. Yes. Yeah. I'll wait for the little timer to go off. I'm going to show y'all something real quick. Huh. And we're chopping. And we're chopping. And we're chopping. We're chop, 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 chopping. Chopping. Chop, 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 chopping. Chop, 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 chopping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There you go. Oh. Why didn't y'all tell me y'all couldn't see me? <laughs> be like, chopping what, girl? Chopping what? All right, I'm getting ready to take our little load out. Oh, and I'm getting ready to turn the oven on to 4.25. And... I'm about to plug up my phone because y'all gonna end up talking to me and then the milk's gonna go bad. There you go. I'm gonna move this over to the side. All right, so let me go back to this so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Get as much of that part off that you can and you're literally chopping. See that? It all needs to be around the same size. You can have some other stuff on there, but I wouldn't advise a whole lot. I don't think I'm going to do all of this. This was a lot. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Maybe a little bit more. 
When the red, red robin goes bop, 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 and along, along. Chop, chop. And you wonder why it was called a chop salad. Chop, 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 chop. I, I need to find something to cook. So hungry. Okay. <laughs> Publix tries to have the spices in alphabetical order, too. Like you said, easy to find. Yes, that part. Yes, Linda. I agree. Now, I need my bowl. So I can put this in here. Oh, and I'm going to dry the bowl because I don't want the remnants of water in my salad. Put this in a bowl. Now you see that? You do not have to peel your carrots if you don't want to. Make sure you can see. There, look at that. Now I'm going to take some red onion, just a little bit. You can do more if you are an onion lover, liker. <laughs> lover, liker. I like it, like it, like it a lot. Cut, 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 chop, chop, chop. Remember, this is a chop salad, so we're doing some chopping. And you do have the freedom with these chopped salads to put what you want in your salad. Okay. Put what you want. I'm not going to put all of that. That's enough. Okay. Now. Now that we found love, what are you going to do with it? One, two. <laughs> Who knows that song? Let me get this out of the way. Is it the way you love me, baby? <sighs> I keep my work this plant. Now I'm going to make this bent rep. Oh, there you go. You see that? You know what? Nah. Yeah, nah. I was like, I need this for something else, but that's okay. Extra virgin olive oil. Just do a little bit of that. Great poupon. Hunting past the great poupon. Okay. What y'all know about the great poupon? I'm about to put the 
Italian pot in the oven. Now the oven is right. And that's going to cook for about, I guess, 30 minutes. Put some of this in here. Some apple cider vinegar. See that? My wife loves raw onions. I prefer it cooked. Okay. My, I made an omelet with crumbled bacon, cheese, onion, and hot peppers. My eyes sweating, laughing out loud, but it's so delicious. I need something. To... Okay. I'll put a little bit of this in here. Sunday back y'all from what's going on? Huh? A little bit of sugar. Some pepper. Mmm. Mm. I add just a little bit more E B O O. And some onion powder. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mmm, nice flavor. Now, you take it for the chopped salad, you add the dressing. You don't let people add their own dressing. You add whatever the dressing is for your salad. Add it to the salad and then toss the salad. Make sure it gets on everything, but it doesn't need to be drenching. Yep. Was that not simple? I don't. What I'm gonna do. Just because I want to. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the time to add little things that you would like to add. So, like, if you like nuts, you will add your nuts. We have people in the household that have nut allergies and who just don't like nuts. So, I'm going to add cran raisins. Uh -huh. Now, to mine, I will add some um, crushed praline pecans to mine because I don't like nuts in my desserts, but I do like them in my salad. Mm, mm, mm. 
dapat niyo sa government ko sa I wish you had smell of vision so you could smell this look. Smell it. You smell it? Hey, Urban Garden Chronicles. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us. You're just in time. Smell, smell. <laughs> so to finish that out, we're gonna need some of our blades. But I'm gonna need to get rid of some of the stuff that's in front of me. Okay. Mm. Mm. But the salad dressing. What are you doing? Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. Mmm, 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 y'all. This is so good. Well, yeah. Take olive oil, apple cider vinegar, and then add whatever you want to add, like the basis to a lot of salad dressing that aren't creamy. Huh? You don't have to use, I think that's a mosquito. You don't, you don't have to use um, red coupon, but you can use a, um, a Dijon if you're gonna do that type of dressing. I just need to put my broccoli away because I can steam some broccoli. I think I have some steak in there. I'll do that for him. I don't eat, um, I eat beef sparingly. Mm, if I go treat every now and then and again. But you know, it takes longer for the pet system. And I want things just to move. You know what I'm saying? If you not if you have not had an opportunity, please check out my weekly vlog. I just started doing a weekly vlog. I also encourage you to come to my live on Wednesday on hashtag Wisdom Wednesday. Who has seen the graphic of this upcoming Wednesday? Who are we going to have on the show on Wednesday? Let me know. Let me see if you're paying attention. You know what I'm saying? Paying attention. Or do you have me on timeout? Who do I have coming to Wisdom Wednesday? Anybody know? Anybody know? I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. This Wednesday, I'm going to have a men's panel. That will consist of one person that you already know that have come on Just Worship, and that will be Tony Jordan. And he was in the video of my father's wedding because he was the photographer. So, you know, you were like, move out the way, I can't see. That was the photographer. That was Tony Jordan. That's just one of the things that Tony can do. But he is multifaceted and talented. So he's going to be on this. This panel is called men, roles and responsibility. And who better than to talk about it than men? But I handpicked the men that are gonna be on this panel because remember, this panel is not about necessarily women, it's about men. Men talking about men to men, okay? I'm just a facilitator. And I am raising two men. I'm married to a man, and I was raised by a man. So yes, my the painting on my wall has to have men all around me. So he's gonna be on here. The husband to one of my close friends is gonna be on here. Nikita came on here before, and she shared with us this 
She came on twice or her husband is coming. Tony is actually a leader of arts and culture and a nonprofit um, founder. Greg is in the construction slash real estate, real estate industry, but more so on the construction side. He's an executive in that. And then the third person will be new to the channel, but he may not be new to some people because he is an actor. Some may have seen him on Greenleaf and some people may have seen him on how to, how, wait a minute, what was the name of the thing, Tyler Perry? Why, why did we get married? <laughs> or you know he's actually on a new series um where he has a lead role called the black hamptons which he told me about a couple months ago but i totally forgot about it so when we were talking the other day and we were talking about the show and you know what what my intentions were as far as the show for him coming on wednesday to talk um he um, shared with me. So when you get a chance, it's on BET. It's called The Black Hamptons. And it is um, actor Lamont Rucker. He will be on as well. And the three of them will be talking about roles and responsibilities um, for men. Now, some of the commonalities that they have are is that they are married and they are also fathers. Two of them have been married for over 20 years. So, and um, yeah, so this should be good. And I look forward to um, hosting the panel and I hope y'all come out and um, y'all enjoy it with me. And then bring your questions. If you have any questions, bring your questions. Yeah, that part. Thank you, Mike. Oh, these grapes right here have gotten me through. But now we're going to move into this glaze to put on this lemon loaf. Now, just like last time, remember, confection, confection of sugar. Except you're going to use confection of sugar with lemon juice. I'm going to take this lemon right here and this right here and mix it with some confectioner juice, um, some confectioner sugar with lemon juice. And that's going to be the glaze that goes on our lemon loaf. Okay. Mm, wait till you see me do the real, the short for the lemon loaf. Hey, peekaboo. It's going to be a good show, that part. Oh Lord, we serve you. Oh Lord, I don't think that's the way the song go, but we can we can turn it into whatever we need it to be. So let me move this out the way. All my stuff in the room. Let me check on this real quick. It's doing what it do. And where's my where's my own dish bag? Oh, there it is. Now we're gonna make this glaze. And our time together will be coming to an end. From beginning to end, 365 days in a year, I want your same old love, baby. All I want to do is to share my life with you. I want your same old love. I, I really like a need a baker if you can't tell. Cause it's truly lovely. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, I can't clear it off my um workspace. And my handy dandy confectioner sugar from last time. Hey Brampton, how are you doing? Welcome. Lemon loaf is my favorite. Mm, if you could just smell it, I promise you, Mike, if you could smell it. Oh, oh, I'm about to tell you something. Oh, I'm going to say Mama Sam, Mama Kusa. I'm going to say Mama Sam, help me sing. 
I'm gonna say my song of my sister. Cause it's truly love me. I probably should have showed y'all that. But, but wait a minute, I don't want that one. This one. Aha. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this lemon low, Hunty. Hunty. All right, one cup of confectioner sugar. And that candle smells so good. I have just a whole melody of smells in here. It's just fabulous. Melody from heaven, rain down on me, rain down on me. Say it again. Melody heaven, fall down on me, rain down on me. Who sang that song? First to drop it in the chat. Million dollars. <laughs> yeah, Annalyn, the singing chef. <laughs> oh, it looks good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Okay. Let me. This is what I was talking about. I'm going to rinse this out because I want to put my drizzle drizzle in here. But I'm waiting for y'all to drop. Who sang melodies from heaven? Rain. Ah, yes. Wait a minute. Who got the million dollars? The Anna Lily Gardner, Kirk Franklin. And then Felicia can get 25000 because Felicia, you know what I'm saying? Mama said. <laughs> Stomp. My, my wife, the gospel singer, not me. I'm a heathen. Ooh, everyone, point your fingers towards Mike right now so he can get released. In the name of Jesus, we release the spirit of the heathen. Now, go and find that song on the internet. And then next time, Mike, I'm going to drop the link and you're going to come up and you're going to sing it. <laughs> hey, Kelly, homesteading with Pooh Bear. Hey, Dorsha. Hey, everybody. Brandon, I need to send you an email so I can send you what I need to send you. Okay. Well, peekaboo, why don't you just put it out there? <laughs> oh, okay. Got me all like feeling some type of way. I'm like, what about me? You know what I'm saying? I need my, my one cup. I lift my hands and told away the rain. You rain on the ground because you are God and God alone. Because of you, my father is all gone. No, John P. Key. No, he didn't sing melodies from heaven. No, Kurt Franklin. Yeah. Back when it was Kirk, Kirk Franklin and the family. I will sing to this song. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship 
end of the day. Just wanna tell you what I love you more than anything. Oh. You know, that's the only thing about this on um, confession of sugar. Because it be having like a little hard little things in it. You gotta mush them, but I'm gonna take care of that. And I need a fork. Just wanna tell you, Lord, I love you. More than Lord, I, love you. More than I got confused. I was right the first time. Yeah, you was right. John P. Key saying, wait a minute, no, it's Richard Smallwood. I was gonna say, Jesus. You're the center of my joy. Ooh, all that's good and perfect comes from you. No, but that's not him. Wait a minute. I know John P. Key's song. Y'all, drop me a John P. Key um, song. You're the heart of my contentment. Hope for all I do. All right. Now, I'm going to tie the thing this up. It's right here. Getting ready to juice this lemon. Bring y'all down. Oh, look at that. Bring it down to the down to the down down. Think it down down down. All right. This right here was a good invention. This right here. This thing gets the juice. Do you see this? Oh, my God. Goodness, it is ridiculous, ridiculous. This is a CD lemon. For you are God and God alone, because of you my cloudy days are gone. I can sing to you this song. I just wanna say that I love you more than anything. I don't remember how Stan goes. Start singing it for me. Dang, and I can't even think of the melody for encouraged. Start singing it for me. Jesus is real. I know the Lord is real to me. He's real, real, real. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the guy promise it. Ah, ah, he's singing it. <laughs> ah, <woo>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh. Jesus is real. I'm sorry, I can't recognize everybody individually, but I'm driving home. But when I'll get there, I'll speak. Okay. Don't have no accidents, honey. Don't have no accidents. And whatever you do, do not get pulled over by the popo, because I am not there to rescue you. Now, well, don't get pulled over by the popo while you're here either, because you know I got all these little kids to take care of. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's real. Real, yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. Now, it'd probably be great if I was measuring all this, but I'm not. You know, I'm just letting the spirit of my ancestors talk to me. <laughs> that was on a meme I had posted. You know, my one of my little. 12 o'clock in the afternoon, pick me up or Ooh, some of y'all comments be funnier than the me. I promise you, y'all be having me cracking up. When I get an opportunity to look at, I'll be like, oh M G, y'all be so funny <laughs> responding to the memes. 
Mm. It's about how we want it right there. You see that? You see that, my friends? Peekaboo. And I have it in this cup, so we'll be able to pour it. Mmm. Woo. Woo. Mmm. Drizzle, drizzle. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. 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 This is going to be delicious. But, but the rock, I'm not going to spoil it. I actually need it, my um, cake to cool a little bit more because you don't want to put it on there prematurely because you want it to sit and you want it to sit right. And then I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to post the picture and I probably will make a reel. Or as YouTube says, a short. And then you'll be able to see. And then I also put it in my blog when I cut it. You know what I'm saying? But thank y'all so much for joining me today. I will post pictures of the finished product. I'm going to take y'all down here real quick so at least you can get a look at it. It's not done right now. Standing in the need. Oh, I need the beat. I know that song too. And y'all see that? I can't even flip this thing, but yeah, I hope y'all can see it. Let me see what I can do. I feel like because y'all are just so loyal and supportive, I need to see. So you better than that. Okay. Because I care. You are so beautiful to me. Can't you see you're everything I hope for? And it's cooking. It's cooking. You see that? Yes. Mm. You smell that? Smell of vision. Smell of vision, people. I'm every one It's all in me I can read your thoughts right now And it went from A to Z whoa, whoa, whoa. I ain't bragging I'm the one Plant, grow, eat by the tea. <laughs> so thank y'all so much for being with me on this Sunday live. I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday in these streets. But I'll probably um, tap in. Um, T Nog is going live at eight o'clock. I hopefully I'll have all this taken care of and have everything else out the way. But uh, yeah, thank y'all for joining me. I will see you on Wednesday for my guest panel. Men, roles, and responsibilities. We're going to have three guys there. We should have a good time. Come with your questions. Come with your ears to hear and get understanding. From men talking about men. And then we'll do one women. Women talking about women. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So let us end in prayer as we start our week. And make sure you check out my, and that's the refrigerator. And don't pay any of mine. That's Sunday. Woo! And there, that looked like a, um, a mosquito got in the house. But uh, yeah, that was the refrigerator. And that was the refrigerator, yeah. Yeah, so I'm about to end this live. And uh, we're going to end in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this day and yet another and another and another opportunity to live, love, and serve you. And we serve you through serving others. So, Lord, let us be intentional in what we do, what we say, how we give, and how we live. That it may be pleasing unto your sight. Now, watch over everyone who is listening to this and watching this. Watch over them. 
Grant them a hedge of protection. Let your angels encamp around them that no hurt, harm, or danger will come near their dwelling or any sickness or plague or disease. We thank you for those who are having health challenges, that you are still a healer, but yet and still they need to do all that they can do. Eat right, think right, and go and see the right help, and then stand on your word and all of his promises that we don't have to walk in silk sickness because by Jesus' right, we are healed after we do all that we can do and then stand on your word. We thank you, Lord, for those who are going through seasons of transition. Let your Holy Spirit guide them that if they are supposed to go right, that they don't go left and they're supposed to go left, that they that they go left and not right. Order their footsteps and pass the righteousness for your namesake and for their good. We give you all the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. It was nice spending time with you guys today. Thank you for coming out. And uh, wow. Hey, pow, pow from Italy. Buongiorno. Yeah, you've been like, um, what else can you say, Dorsha? Arrivederci. Hey, there you go. Pow, pow. It may not get no more better than that, but uh, yeah. I'll come up with some other ones. You know, I got Duolingo, you know what I'm saying? I need to start brushing up on my Spanish, my French, and my Japanese. Because those are the languages I learned in school. And you know, they're not native. So if you don't use them, you lose them. That part. Yay! Looking good. Thank you, FR. See you. Bye, happy life. Bye, Mike. Sunday letting garden friends in. <laughs> yeah, we got, yeah, I'm looking. There's like two things flying around in here, but they look like they are mosquitoes. <laughs> and yeah, y'all know how I feel about that. Amazing live. Have a blessed, healthy, and safe night, everyone. Thank you, Barb Brownlee, for joining us. Snails in garden. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Bueno, not note. Buena no note. Buena note. Good night. Good night. Farewell to you, my friend. I don't even know that song, but anyway. Buena note. <gasps> it's one o'clock in the morning there. Pow, pow. Go to bed. Go to bed right now. <laughs> After I end this live. Go to bed. <laughs> Good night, Miss Shirley. Hope tour safe from Hurricane Ann. And I don't like Hurricane Ann. Oh, sorry, Snails. I hope that you are doing well. And um, y'all, everyone who has been affected by this hurricane, my sincere prayers go out to you and your family. And um, I pray that whatever you lost, that is restored. And not even just it being restored, but God gives you double for your trouble in Jesus' name. Papao says, wow, you speak good Italian. Oh, yes. Italiano. Hey, it's a romance language. You know, uh, je parle français. <laughs> and, you know, once you speak one romance language, you can ebb and flow. That's why I took Spanish after nine years of taking French. And then I was able to get an A in Spanish because, you know, there was some, you know, rhythm, some cadence there. And then I was like, I should take Italian. You know what I'm saying? But me and Sunday still have to do a trip over there because I want to visit Italy, honey. Yes, peek -a And France. Um, the UK. Oh, see? <laughs> it is a mosquito in here. And you know who they like to get? Me. Je parle français aussi, mommy. Ah! Hey! A <laughs> Sending prayers across the miles to all impacted by Hurricane Ann. Aw. Thank you, snails. Look in the description and get you a t-shirt too, snails. You know, plant, grow, eat. All right, y'all. It's been wonderful. Have a blessed week. I pray a hedge of protection around all of you. Sending y'all much love your way. And I'll see you on Wednesday for my men's panel on men, roles, and responsibility. See you there. Bye-bye.